before 2002, the name Binye van Gawainer was virtually unknown outside literary circles. But when his short story Discovering Home clinched the coveted Kane Prize for African writing that year, the author and satirist became a cultural icon celebrated the world over. For 17 years, Binye van Gogh's name has featured predominantly in the newsreel, for his literary finesse and controversy alike. His death from a stroke in Nairobi on Tuesday night brought down the curtains on not just a highly fruitful career in writing but also on his social activism. Born in Nekuru County in 1971, Binye van Gogh studied at Manga High School and Lenana School in Nairobi. He later joined the University of Nairobi for a degree in education. After leaving South Africa's University of Transkei, where he was studying commerce, Binye van Gogh freelanced as a food and travel writer for various magazines. His work has also been published by The Guardian, The New York Times and National Geographic. He founded Kwani in 2003 as a platform to nurture young East African writers. He had also featured on the list of Time's 100 Most Influential People in the World in 2014. As his scope of influence grew, the World Economic Forum recognized him as a young global leader in 2007, an award he turned down, saying, although, like many, I go to sleep at night fantasizing about fame, fortune and credibility, the thing that is most valuable in my trade is to try, all the time, to keep myself loose, independent and creative. It would be an act of great fraudulence for me to accept that right idea that I am going to significantly impact world affairs. In 2014, when a heavy tide of anti-gay laws was sweeping across the continent, with most African countries passing legislation that clamped down on homosexuality, Binye Van Gogh announced that he was gay himself. This revelation, from a renowned writer, set in motion a socio-cultural whirlwind, with the writer at the center of it, 